Hey everyone, welcome to Thursday here on the DVD Fiends. With you as always, I'm Foz. Today, I'll be talking about another favorite vampire classic, Vamp, from 1986. Starring Grace Jones as, you know, the uh, namesake Vamp, whatever the fuck her name was. I think it was Katrina. Um, but really it stars uh, Chris... I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Makepeace? I'm just going to go for Makepeace. Chris Makepeace, uh, who plays Keith... And Robert Rustler uh, as AJ, Keith and AJ. And you might remember uh, Keith from My Bodyguard. Um, and he was also in, uh, what was it, uh, Meatballs, Meatballs 1 with uh, Bill Murray. And let's see, AJ, you might know him from a little movie called Weird Science. You might have seen that. And also, he was the uh, main bad guy in Thrashing, another one of my 80s skateboard favorites. And uh, another little cameo in this, well, not cameo, he's all throughout it, but keeps popping up in and out, is uh, Billy Drago as uh, the leader of the Albano Gang. And I think his name was Snow in it. All right, so there's like the principal cast and everything. Let me tell you about a little bit what this movie is about. Because I know a lot of people have, like, heard of this movie, but a lot of people haven't actually seen it. Um, if you have seen it, it's probably, you know, one of your 80s favorites, like it is mine and some of my friends. Um, basically, Keith and AJ are trying to join this fraternity in college. And, uh, at the beginning of it starts off all, like, the, uh, the, these guys in robes and everything. It looks like uh, Keith and AJ is going to get hung. And then you figure out that it's just you know some pussy-ass fraternity prank. Like, initiation to get them in. And uh, AJ's like, AJ's like, wait, wait a minute. I can do better than this. This is fucking retarded. Let me go get some girls. Let me, you know, bring back the greatest party ever. And if we, we pull this, you know, great party with all these hot chicks off, we're in. We don't have to go through all this fraternity bullshit and they go for it because they're college guys and want laid. So they look in the paper for uh, some strip clubs, you know, call girls whatsoever, and figure out if they go downtown, uh, they can, you know, find these women, bring them back. Fucking college is going to be awesome from then on. So they go to a person who I forgot to mention who's very central to this plot, fucking uh, Getty Wannabe, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, on top, what knobby? I'm gonna go with that. Getty what knobby? Uh, or Long Duck Dong, as everybody knows him from Sixteen Candles. He plays Duncan, and Duncan is basically this uh, rich college kid who you know has everything. He has fucking money at the wazoo. Um, he has you know people to get him everything, but really no friends. And so he can always pay people to hang out with him, but he never really has any friends to pal around with. And they go to him, really, they don't want to hang out with him because, you know, he's, I guess, a loser, a nerd, but he has the money. So that's why people's around him. Anyways, they go to him for a car. And he's like, ah, no problem, you know, sure, whatever, car. Uh, you know, just give me, give me so much money and blah, 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 you can have the car. Well, we don't have any money. Well, awesome, I'll come with you. Uh, and he's like, come on, guys, I have no friends, I want to go. They're like, uh, fine, you can come on the road trip, just let us use you know, one of your nice-ass cars, and we'll go pick up some hookers and bring them back. Party. Okay, so it sounds good. Sounds like your basic, like, 80s, uh, Last American Virgin type, you know, sex comedy. And here is whenever the, the craziness starts going. They drive, you know, they drive to downtown. They've never really been through there before, I don't guess. Never says it, but I guess they're from, like, another place, and this is a college, like, out of their hometown. This is the city to the college that they've never really been before. So they're driving, and uh, they end up in a bad part of town. And, uh, you know, you can tell something's up right whenever uh, they get there, because, like, the coffee shop owner, when the sun's starting to go down, is putting garlic around him, you know, and crosses are hanging on the wall and everything. And uh, around that time is whenever Billy Drago and the and the Albano gang comes in, and they start, you know, fucking with them. They get in a little altercation, and uh, they escape that by throwing some coffee and, you know, grabbing some balls and shit. Um, anyway, so they get out of there, and they find their way to a strip club. And while they're at the strip club, um, one of the waitresses there, 
Like, I don't think, it never says she's a stripper. She might be one of the strippers, but it never actually shows her really stripping. She's just waitressing at the time. Um, like, she keeps waving at Keith and being like, you don't remember me, do you? He's like, uh, I, no, I don't remember. And uh, she's a little mad and she won't actually tell him who she is. Well, around this time, you start to figure out, okay, there's something up here. These chicks are pretty much vampires. Is what is you know the gist that you're getting from it, and uh, Grace Jones comes out and does this fucking weird ass eccentric dance, like kind of like um and from Dust Till Dawn, uh, but way weirder because it's Grace Jones, and she's like sh striped. You see how it's like she's striped. That's body paint. Okay, that's body paint and some weird ass wig, and. So she's dancing and everything, and everybody's like hypnotized by it. Like, ooh, they're in a trance. And it's some of the craziest stuff ever. And so AJ decides that's the woman he wants. That if he can bring her back to the fraternity, they're, they're in. They're golden. So he goes back to meet her. And at this point, they told, uh, you know, whenever he walks and tries to talk to the bartender and everybody and tries to get backstage, he's telling them, you know, he's by himself. He's alone. Uh... Which I guess is what they're looking for, you know, strays, loners, top guys, because they're in the fucking Bowery gutter district. So he goes back there, he's hooking up with her, you know, hot kinky stuff. Only time in my life I ever thought Grace Jones was hot. Uh, and you can guess what happens to him. And uh, so then, let's see. Well, he's not quite alone. So then they got the two other friends to deal with, friends trying to figure out where he is. You know, and this just spells bad endings uh, for a couple of the different people along the route. Like the the girl that brings him back there, she's she's gone. Um, they're trying to get rid of AJ. They're trying to get rid of Long Duck Dong. Um, and from then, it's you know, it's just crazy shit after crazy shit. In the middle of all this, trying to like dodge out from the vampire stripper worker bar people, uh, they still have the albino gang coming after them, and it all kind of comes back together in the end with a, you know, some surprising comebacks. Like, I don't really want to give it all away in case you haven't seen it. Um, but it has some nice little twists and turns and everything. You think it's going to go one way and something happens. Then you think that's going to go one way and something else happens. But all in all, you know, it's awesome 80s soundtrack, awesome 80s hair, you know, fucking the strippers look straight from, like, USA Up All Night 80s stuff. Um, but, yeah. Okay, Vamp, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's another one of my 80s uh, vampire favorites, like The Lost Boys, which I did last week, that you can see on here. Um, I'm Foz. I don't know what I'll be doing next week. I might keep with the vampire theme um, and do another 80s vampire favorite, or maybe a modern-day vampire favorite, since that will be my last you know, one for, for October before actual Halloween. And without meaning to, I've already like started on a vampire kick. So I might just keep it up. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me review. If you have any ideas. Uh, all right. I'm Foz. Check me on myspace.com slash Foz Rotten from a band and check out my personal page, youtube.com slash Foz Rotten. See you DVD fiends. Bye.